everybody, this is Freddie with Freddie Can Fly, and in today's video, we are going to take a look at what to do when you receive your spirit wave transmitter out of the box. Um, you'll notice upon unpackaging that you received a little packet here labeled AG01 Metal Gimbals. We'll put a pop up on the screen here in just a moment on that one. And then a little tool bag that gives you an Allen key, um, some extra springs, and it looks like some extra screws. Now these are, um, as I just stated, so these are the Radio Master AG01 gimbals. Um, really nice, all machined metal, you know, bearings. I mean, they are just as smooth as, as, as butter. I mean, or I don't know if butter necessarily has a texture like that, but you get, you get the reference point there. So beautiful, beautiful gimbals. Um, one really important thing we want to take a look at guys, um, before we just pull our radio out and start using it, um, is we want to go ahead and adjust our gimbals, not only to your preferred tension, but also your preferred travels. Um, and then we're going to have to go ahead and complete a calibration in the radio for our, for our new adjustments, okay? So this is going to be a really important, crucial first step. Get your radio out. Um, now, you can go ahead and utilize this, or they do have a PDF for this also online. This can be a little bit tricky, so um, you're going to want to kind of follow along if this is your first time. We're not going to make this too lengthy or anything, but um, you're going to need to have a, I believe, a 1.5 millimeter tool. Again, there is one that is supplied, but I like to have a good handle on mine, and, and it fits really well you know, in there. And you can also do your adjustments and move, uh, move the gimbal around while you're tweaking it. So I kind of recommend using this. Uh, again, 1.5 millimeter. Um, and then let's go ahead and let's pull up uh, the PDF for this real quick. And uh, you'll notice on here for the adjustable or the adjustability features, um, the different numbered sections. Uh, you'll see the one, two, three, four, let's see, five, six, and seven. Um, corresponding right down below, you'll notice that uh, each said number, it explains what each adjustment does. Okay, so that's really important. Go ahead and take a look at that. Um, in my particular case, uh, my gimbals were, were pretty loose. And by loose, what I mean is um, when, when you move the sticks to the full extents, it was, you've got these little notches uh, right inside the gimbals right uh, mine were extending very far past those um, so what I found that I had to do is is do those adjustments on there um, for the full travel amount on both and just got them to where I spent a lot of time doing it guys you know don't short yourself get it get it where you want it to be and get it perfect um, but so I got those all set by adjusting those you can also adjust the overall like like tension the spring tensions um, the cool thing about these gimbals as well is if you're using mode 1 or mode 2, um, I believe it is setting number... I want to say, is it, is it 4? Yeah, I don't know, it's either, it's either, no I think it's 5. It might be uh, uh, 5 or 6, one of those two. Re uh, read through that, I'll pull it back up and take a look. Sorry, I don't have it memorized, but um, one of them, um, the more you tighten the screw, what it does is it brings your stick back to center. You could then loosen the corresponding one and switch over to a mode one or or mode two uh, from two to one from one to two however you want to do it but i thought that was kind of cool so go ahead and get all of these adjusted real quick um get them to where they feel the way you like again um you can also turn clockwise and counterclockwise the thumbstick screws to elevate the sticks too mine are mine are a little bit on the low side so i'm going to pull them up a bit um, but get all those adjusted to your guys' likings. Make sure you set your, your full travels on them and everything like that. And then we will take a look at how to complete the calibration. Alrighty guys, so we've went ahead and powered up the radio after completing our gimbal adjustments um, using the different um, screw points here to vary your tensions and everything like that. So you'll see we've got our main menu um, right here. What we're going to want to do is at this very end widget here we have our, it's like a gear shape. This will be for settings. We'll go ahead and enter that. This is touch screen which is phenomenal. Um, and you'll notice over here we've got a little sec uh, section here for controls. 
go ahead and click on controls and you'll see it brings us to this menu here uh, configuration for controls and we've got a button labeled calibrate and obviously you can see the um, the points here for your sticks moving around so this is tracking you know real time real action gimbal okay and then we've got some of our um, auxiliary pots over here so what you're going to want to do guys now that we've made our stick tension adjustments and our travel limit adjustments and everything else you're just going to go ahead and you'll click on the calibrate button mine's already done so I'm not going to mess it up but you'll click calibrate and what it's going to do is it'll do a pop-up and it's going to tell you to move all of your sticks um, to the furthest extent of all the different directions, right? So what I usually do is I'll go to each corner just nice and slow kind of like this Make sure you really get the full extent of your travel and then after you've completed it It'll have you center the sticks back and then you'll finish calibration You are now done your gimbals are ready to use and we can move forward using the spirit wave Alrighty guys, so there we have it. We have done the first step. We are now on our way to utilizing the wave transmitter. Um, as always, quick and, uh, quick and fast recap. We have adjusted our gimbals, set the full adjustments, the tension, made the sticks feel the way that we like, whether you're a thumb flyer or a pincher like me. Uh, and then we went into the radio, we completed the calibration process for our new adjustments on the sticks. Um, so everything from that standpoint should be golden guys and just you know I just sit here honestly sometimes on the couch I just I just hold my radio in my hand and just play with the gimbals probably not good for the longevity However, it's fun for me um, Anyways enough of that nonsense guys stay tuned the next video. We're gonna jump into um, mounting the W1 system uh, or whichever other of the spirit systems you may have and then we'll take a look at getting it bound. Some of the pre-radio setups, we can jump into the setup, um, or the setup wizard, I believe that it's called in the radio. And after that, we'll hit the field, we'll go out and test it. So um, be sure to follow along for the rest of the video series, guys. I'm really trying to tackle this content as quickly as possible, so hang in there with me. Um, make sure to comment, like, subscribe if you need to, guys. I got the Freddy Can Fly help and support uh, Facebook page if you want to give that a look. And as always, my friends, remember, if Freddy can fly, so can you. See you next time.